to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment. So when you call on the God of Abraham, there is a way God moves. When you call on the God of Isaac, there is a way God moves. When you call on the God of Jacob, there is a way God moves. When you call on the God of Apostle Danjuma Musa, there is a way he moves. When you call on the God of whoever, there is a way he moves. Your experience must make God attach a dimension to your name. Are we together? This shall be my name. The names of God. He breaks his names, himself into names, so that you can study him. The Bible says in Psalm 24, The earth is the Lord's, and its fullness thereof. The worlds and all they that dwell therein. He says, For it has founded it upon the sea and established it upon the waters. Then he says, Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He says, He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. Listen, he says, Whoever that person is, he shall receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Then he says that there is a generation. This is the generation that seeks thy face. O Jacob, other versions will say, O God of Jacob. So when it comes to encounter, the personality that God uses to describe that dimension is Jacob. And to understand this, you must go to Genesis 28 and Genesis 32, where Jacob wrestled with God and said, I will not let you go. Until then, there was no God of Jacob. There was only God of Isaac and God of Abraham. But a man created a name. God had to brand his impact with Jacob and said every time you want to have an encounter with God, understudy Jacob. The God of Jacob. The Bible says Jacob wrestled with God all through that night. He says, leave me for the day breaketh. And Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me. He says, what is your name? He says, Jacob. And then he says, thou shalt no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, you have had power with God and prevailed. He touched his thigh. And the Bible says, he disjointed him. And then the son arose and he called the name Peniel, the face of God. So when you want to seek the face of God, you don't look for the God of Abraham. No. There is no encounter there. There is covenant. When you look for the God, Abraham did not know God. Abraham walked with God in covenant. Jacob had an encounter, a wrestle. Are we together? We know God by knowing his name. Now, let me tell you why this is very important. The Bible says, it's God who is at work in us both to will and to do. If the Spirit of God wants to heal in this place now, let me tell you what he will do. Because he responds to his names that are called. His name is his dimension that you are invoking. The Spirit of God who knows that it is God's desire to begin to heal will make the worship people to start singing songs that invoke that name. Because he wants to come as that God. So any dimension of God you want to see, you invoke it in prayer and you invoke it in worship. You cannot begin to sing about God who heals and then he comes as God who prospers. No, he must answer to his name. Look up. What's your name, my friend? Huh? Come again. Reuben. Grace. Is that your name? No. What's your other name? Tell me all your names. Huh? Chinemi. Kinemi. Kinemi Ruben. 
Now, if I call you Reuben, come. I'm sure there is a nickname they call you. Don't, don't say it. Now, there is a, if this man is married, there is a name only his wife can call him. It's none of your business. Are we together now? There is a name his brothers can call him. There is a name that is official. So his response will not be the same. Are we together? My mom is here. My biological mom. That's my mom seated there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now watch this. My mom calls me her father. Now, of course, I, I know what that means. But there is a name my mom will call me. She's my mother. You will not call me that name. Are we together? There is a name you call me that invokes the office I occupy. Thou son of David. He didn't say Jesus. He would have died there without healing. Thou son of David. I invoke that dimension. You are king. You have dominion. I forget about the name Mary gave you. You are a royal one. It is, it is within the power of any king to set any man free. Thou son of David. I invoke that dimension. And he responded to him. Our names represent different dimensions. Are we together? Someone can call him bros. That's a name. It means I'm your friend. You don't heal a man with the name bros. Are we together? Thank you. So there is a name. Hmm. Wherefore God has so highly exalted him and given him a name. The name is not Jesus. I hope you know. <laughs> no, the name is not Jesus. Jesus is the name that was there. Are footballers called Jesus today? Their names don't carry power. If Jesus were Nigerian, he would have a name that has nothing to do. It just means it is the root word Joshua, Jehoshua, the one who saves. It's just a description of his office. The Bible says a coronation was held for Jesus in heaven. Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5. That a coronation was held and a name was given to him. An office. And it says at the mention of that name. That every knee should bow and every tongue would confess. Of things in the heavens, in the earth and under the earth. Are we together? And the name, it says that they must confess that Jesus is. That's the name, Lord. The word Lord means absolute owner. The earth is the... That's the name that was given to him. That Jesus has now become both Lord and Christ. That is the name given to him. So we know him through his names. A few minutes and we'll be done. Number three. The third way we know God is through the revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Colossians chapter 1 please and verse 15. Colossians 1 and verse 15. The Bible calls Jesus, please look up, the image of the invisible God. The, in, the God that I could not see. Now Jesus has come as the expression of that invisible God. The word logos means the thoughts of a man that seeks expression. The thoughts of a man personified. The fullness of the Godhead represented bodily in the Christ. Are we together? So Jesus is called the image of the invisible God. Now, if, if you have a mirror and you cannot see me, but the mirror can capture me, you can look at the mirror and accurately describe me because the mirror tries to give my image. Are we together now? Now, it's interesting for you to know that when it comes to being the image of God, it is not only Jesus who is the image of the invisible God. The church is also the image he only started the journey as a template for us to see. Now we are the continuity 
and the extension. That means when I step in somewhere and they don't know who God is, I tell them, just give me 10 minutes of your time and look at my life. Any part of my life should be able to describe something about God. That's why he gives us power. That's why he gives us wisdom. That's why he gives us prosperity. That's why he gives us intelligence. All these are equippings that will help us to become worthy images. Are we blessed tonight? Jesus. Hebrews chapter 1, please. God who in sundry times, he says, and diverse manners, who had spoken to us in time past by the prophets, had in these last days, it says, spoken to us through his son, whom he had appointed heir over all things. Are we together? Go to verse 3, please. It says, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power. Jesus is a representation. Now, when Jesus walked the earth, he came as a correction of our perception about God. Because until Jesus came, men could not really know God. And so they would attribute both the things that were of God and were of other spirits to God Almighty. And so Jesus said, no, watch my life and correct like a marking scheme. Everything you see me do is what God does. Whatever I do not do, God does not do. So he started correcting their perception. Until then, they had all kinds of ideas about God. But Jesus came as the revelation of the Father. So you would look at Jesus and correct what they told you about God. You would look at Jesus and begin to reorder your understanding. He did not just come to die. He came as the logos of God. An expression, a revelation. So when I see Jesus, I see God. When I look at Jesus as revealed, the Son of God, I can see the love of God. I can see the compassion of God. Are we together? Now let me tell you, Jesus is greater than any apostle, greater than any prophet, greater than any theology. Whatever is not in the Christ is not a revelation of what is in the Father. Because the father attested that this is my beloved son. And he said, I am well pleased. Jesus. is by the well with a woman. And then he looks at her. And people would think he would condemn and throw her away. And God represented in the Christ, Jesus. He now walks with this woman and leads her to salvation. Never did he see anybody in need. Who truly desired his help that he did not touch. He does not discriminate. Because Jesus did not discriminate. Hallelujah. So whether or not people know your father, know your mother, know your background. You are dealing with a God that's revealed through Christ. Whose, whose love is rich unto all. No respecter of persons. Somebody's life is changing. In the name of Jesus. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched his grace. Your life must change. I, 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 you will never be, never be the same. I've touched your grace, my life must change. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace, my life must change. You can that you have met him by what leaves you you can know that you know him by what changes now the lord is that spirit he says i look at jesus and i can see the love of the father i look at jesus and i can see the might everything
time a miracle did not happen in scripture, it was not the problem of the power and the might of God. It was the unbelief and the dishonor of the people. So I know for sure that I'm dealing with a God who is not scared. He's not scratching his head on his throne, wondering what to do about my situation. He is the all-wise God. So I approach him with that understanding that he is limitless. This is the basis for my receiving. So when a word comes that God wants to liberate me, I don't sit down saying, Lord, are you aware of my situation? Uh -uh. My life must change. My life must change. Hmm. My life must change. My life must change. I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life must change I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life must change The revelation of Jesus Not just the visionary revelation of Jesus That I can look at Jesus and know God. I can look at Jesus. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. The Bible says he is full of grace and truth. That means I'm not afraid to follow him because there is no deception in him. He's not scamming me to deceive me one day. When I leave all to follow him, I know there is a worthy consolation. My knowledge of him gives me that confidence. He does not use men and dump men. So while I am following him and I look stupid momentarily, my confidence is that you are following a God who is benevolent enough to sort every aspect of your life while you seek him. This gives the confidence to follow him with reckless abandonment. It may not make sense, but you burn the bridge behind you and say, let's go. I know you and I trust you enough. The disciples said, we have left all to follow you. It was a revelation of what God does with men who follow him. And he said, let me tell you what God does. Verily, verily, I say unto you, no man who has left father, mother, possession for the kingdoms and for my sake, that he will not in this life. There is a provision to make my life a wonder in this life while I seek him. So God does not make men serve him and become failures. I see that in the Christ. So I expect to win and to be victorious while I serve him. But the people that do know their God shall be strong. Number four, and then we'll pray. I already sense a very mighty anointing here. Can you please give me volume, David? Give me volume. The fourth way to know God is through your experience. Your experiences can reveal a dimension of God. Hmm. First John chapter 1 verse 1. First John 1 verse 1, please. First John 1 verse 1. That which was from the beginning, which we have, talk to me please, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled. Listen, in this kingdom, you not only believe God, you can taste and see. There is an experience to our dealings with God. Your experiences can reveal a dimension of God to you that no salmon can reveal. There is a pain factor that when you go through in life, it gives you a revelation of God that no divination can take out. Are we together? Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My heart, my flesh thirst for you. To see your power and your glory as I have seen in the sanctuary. There are things that when you go through in life. Listen, let me tell you my brothers and my sisters. 
There are people who are too innocent to be used by God. There is a pain requirement. There is a track record. I hope you like what I'm saying. Away with that nonsense that makes you believe that God just calls you and uses you. No, you come as you are, but you are not used as you are. As you are. You come as you are, but you are made. The making is more than a lecture. It's a track record. It's a fondness of affliction. That's why the Bible says, Paul said, let no man trouble me. I pass through the school. Upon my body is a mark, a testament of endurance. You don't just tell demons, go, just because you saw it in the Bible. There is a track record. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Right here is where many believers make a mockery of themselves. It's like driving. When you are attending driving lesson, they'll say when they when, you know you match the brake, you say, Oh, I can't. You are you are almost in a hurry to say, teacher, go away until you get into that vehicle and you don't even know what you are pressing again. It looks simple until you try it. Let me tell you, this anointing thing you see that people talk about and just make it look as if it just comes on people. The price for life is death. The price for life is not suffering. The price for life is death. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it abides alone. This is a language that our generation does not want. There are some, there are some prayers you don't pray. There are some things that cannot come by impartation. You must follow through the door of death. It takes the cross to get to the throne. The price of death, your experience revealing the Christ. Listen, God will not just make a generation listen to you because you have what to say. It takes the track record of blood and pain and death. This is my beloved son. What was he before? What was he in a manger? What was he at age 12? The healing anointing will not just come because hands were laid on you. Do you know what it means to be sick? If not, you are not qualified to be in the healing ministry. How then can you build the compassion that releases the anointing? Compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity. There are times that God will pass you through what you will be saving people from. No, no amount of prayer will deliver you. He will grant you grace to pass through. I teach you sound doctrine. To prepare you. That is why you can be talking against God's anointed. Whether you are right or wrong. God will act like he's not seeing it. Because there is blood dripping from that altar. A testament of death. Listen to what I'm telling you. Help those under the anointing. I'm already seeing. Please help me. We are going to. I will take time to minister to you. But I want you to bring them out. I just saw light. And I'm seeing. There is an anointing. I'm seeing the number 21. Please bring them out. 21 people. I'm seeing an anointing. Come on them. Please bring them out now. Sheba lakatuza bradiza sadianana. I release the sound of the heavens, sound of creation, Yahweh is here. I release the sound of the heavens, sound of creation, Yahweh is here. I cry holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua, Shekinah is here. I cry holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua, Shekinah is here. Yahweh, Yahweh, eh, 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 eh. Yahweh, Yahweh.
your life is death the price for all of God is all of you not your heart not your intelligence not your certificate all of you the price for the anointing is not just fasting and prayer is death the, you want to carry the grace the power the glory of God that speaks over a territory it takes more than titles it's a track record of death bring them out we're rounding up tonight how can you be the same no please hold on please don't miss tomorrow's meeting i'll take our time to minister but don't don't miss tomorrow's meeting but i want to pray um can you spare me a few minutes sir now please i want you to help them they are going to start running physically i'm seeing the spirit of delay being broken and a grace for speed coming on people they will start running now please help them so they don't injure themselves in the crowds they are not just here please help them an anointing is coming on you i crush delay by this apostolic and prophetic anointing i don't care for how long now the lord is that spirit i come with a rod of a higher priesthood and i declare in the name that is above all names bring them out i crush delay here at this conference never to be the same again help that woman please i will never be saved have touched your grace my life must change i will never be the same my life must change I will never say I will never be the same I touch your life must change I will never be the same I touch your grace My life must change Hallelujah Who is Garba? Garba I'm hearing a name Garba G-A-R-B-A -A. We're going to round up. I'm not taking too much time. I'm hearing that name Garba. Garba. Who is Janet? Janet. J-A-N like Janet. Please who is that? I just want to talk to that. You are a mother. You are an elderly woman. Who is that? Is, is there someone like that? Hiya, hiya. Madam, I crushed the power of witchcraft over this woman's life. Excuse me. In the name of Jesus, here at this conference, you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are two people in the choir. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on them now. Bring them out. Grace for you. Never to be the same again. Madam, where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? From just here. I want to pray for you. The Lord is telling me that oppression has come to an end in your life. I don't know you from anywhere. But Mama, can I speak to you? That in the name of Jesus, hear me between now and january 15th write it down your life will change in a way that will surprise you this is by the spirit of god the anointing is coming on you right now this lady i'm seeing an angel just pour oil on this lady and the lord is saying the yoke of oppression is gone let it go now i command that devil to leave you now here at global flames the spirit of god is visiting you taking you to heights unimagined in the name of Jesus there is a pastor here J please just give me a few minutes I'm seeing a strong anointing coming on a man of God you are you are not a member of this church this ministry but I'm seeing a strong anointing I don't know where the pastors are but I'm seeing 
please if that happens i want to speak to that person these are pastors here there is a man of god please bring him out bring them i'm seeing a strong anointing never to be the same again i don't know your ministry i don't know what you do but you're about to step into a dimension of grace i cast my crown before the highest royalty i am undone before your glorious majesty i cast my crown before the highest royalty i am undone before the glorious majesty you're the king of kings and lord of lords you are the king of kings you are the lord of lords your glorious majesty Yabone na kawo, sujana ne na kawo, sarki salama ve, sarki kawo. Look at me, sir. You are stepping into a strange realm of the prophetic. I don't know you. You are an elderly man, but the Lord is saying I should prophesy to your life and shift you to a dimension in the spirit. I stretch my hands towards you. That you drink of this ancient wine that has turned people into signs and wonders receive that grace step into a new dimension of the anointing you're a pastor you're a pastor sir i don't know you but i'm seeing a strong teaching anointing that is coming upon you and the lord is saying that he's going to begin to take you to territories you are in just here your domicile in just yes sir. i'm seeing god opening doors for you that are beyond the shores of this city Amen. shout jesus as loud as you can go ahead jesus! step into that anointing step into that grace you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ somebody will run out now by the spirit please hold the person i'm seeing an anointing physical like running Physical to run out. Please, I want to prophesy to the person. I don't mean to take your time you know when the Holy Spirit just comes like this sometimes we don't have the time I must respect the time I'm giving but the Lord is just putting something in one two three four five six years without a child who is that one two three four five the woman is here I'm seeing an angel of the Lord leading me here is there someone like that come your time to give birth has come come Sir King Salam Sir King Stand up my You are a member of this church? You are coming from somewhere else Listen Go and prepare for a baby boy Look at me His name is Samuel God is going to give you a child He's going to be a great prophet of God Stand up I don't know you I have not seen you from anywhere But thank God you came You see why it's good to come to church I was glad when they said unto me let listen please hear me let me say this up front i i know that many of you are seeing the manifestations of the spirit of god and you know i know that there are people who do all kinds of fake things but don't you dare make a mistake of thinking this man standing before you is doing some things fetish you don't know the price 
that goes into carrying the anointing not everyone is fake there are men who have paid their price in righteousness and have carried something that is for nations so let me just say it up front so that you don't even entertain any demonic thought that any manifestation is of the devil i was born and bred in this city not everybody is a wizard not everybody is fake there are people who have paid their price genuinely and have been given graces for nations my dear i speak to you in the name of jesus i prophesy to you that you remember not the former things i open i decree and declare i don't care what is in your womb i declare according to the time of life go and return with your child in the name of jesus hallelujah bring the lady for me that will shout now loud to the hearing of everybody the bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tents of the righteous ah, god is breaking chains in this place breaking chains in this place when they ask you where did you go to you say i'm coming from church you don't get this in a beer parlor you don't get this in a lecture room it is only in the house of god mama in the name of jesus i prayed for you ah The Lord is asking me I'm seeing are there commissioners in the state I'm seeing a commissioner in a ghastly motor accident and we have to pray this thing I'm seeing the Lord is showing me now who is that coming is there a commissioner here sir I'm not a prophet of doom I stand by the God of heaven please you don't have to kneel stand sir I'm going to pray for you. I don't know you. But I'm seeing a ghastly motor accident with a truck. And I'm seeing everybody in that car dead. But like I taught you, the purpose of revelations like this, if we cannot avert what we see, then there is no dominion. The real proof of dominion is the ability to superimpose the workings of darkness. We stand as a church and in the name of Jesus, sir, I pray for you and your family by the God of heaven. You are secured now and secured forever. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is ah, something is leaving this man. He will never be the same. This man will rise up and be a changed man. There is an age-long pattern in your family that just got broken. This thing. People rise up, they get to the top and then they come down in shame. This is what God is ending right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because of this program, write it down. I'm seeing the police arrest one two three four five people in joss who have been kidnapping i'm seeing this thing happen write it down write it down there are a group there are people kidnapping but there are a group of people who are just kidnapping and they will ask to bring maybe uh, uh, 10 million or some wicked amount and say bring I stand by the God of heaven let the earth fight them from this night hallelujah let's round up your brother is missing who is that you've not seen him this is at least two years he's been missing and he's not been seen is there someone like that we have to pray. hold on please is that true your brother huh brother your immediate junior younger brother, brother. Yes. where are you from madam 
I am from Kogis. I'm Yoruba, but, but I stay. But you stay in just here. Where was he? Where did he get missing? It's more than two years. It's more than two years. Do you believe he will come back? Yes. Go and write it. Prepare to see your brother. The power of God is going to come on one of you. I have to round up. But I'm seeing a mighty anointing. Just come on one of you here. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, that embargo is broken now over your family forever. It will never return to you again by the Spirit of the Lord. I pray for everyone here. For whatever reason you came in the name of Jesus, let there be liberty for you. You will go back and you will return tomorrow with all inspiring testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Please look at me. The Lord sent me here by his spirit tonight to let us know there is more that can be in God. And I thank God for the leadership of your man of God inspiring you to see that there is more more than just Christianity more than just praying and fasting there is a depth of encounter and conviction we must come out with the nations are not waiting for explanations they are waiting for a dimension of kingdom power and glory some of you will go back and this encounter will linger some of you will go back home and find things that were missing. You will see it back waiting for you at home. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of the Living God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me round up. I pray for everyone here under the sound of my voice, whether you are inside or outside. I declare between this night and tomorrow, return with a strange testimony please believe I'm not just speaking in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare over you whatever challenge that you came here with this is the house of God return back with testimonies I plant in you a hunger for spiritual things that from tonight your hunger and your passion for God will jack back to life. For some of you, your prayer life has gone down for months. Let it come back to life now. For some of you, your word study life has gone down. Let it come back to life now. For some of you, you've compromised on your values and what you stand for. The grace to be restored back. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please let me encourage you. I want you to invite everyone you know in and around just tomorrow. Let's set this place on fire tomorrow. This is called Global Flames. Except God is not God. That whatever comes with you here tomorrow, it must bow to the name and the Lordship of Christ. Listen. Whether there's space or not, if you will sit on the zinc, sit on the zinc. Invite your families, invited, pay anyone's transport and say, find your way and come here. And let's prove once again that Jesus is Lord over Plateau State. That Jesus is Lord over Joss. May the Lord bless you in Jesus. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.